Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the round of 32 clash between Wenteros and his Dark Elves up against Zahu with his Skaven. Um, I can tell you that, first of all, they've got unpainted teams, disgusting. Let's uh, make them red and blue. Uh, Wenteros was the winner of his group and he's Russian, qualified through Ruby BL uh, on PC. Zahu is also on PC, Spanish, qualified through Buttercup. He was the runner-up in Olivier Delac's group. I think this matchup does favour Dark Elves a little bit, but the thing is, Skaven have still got... Although it feels bad for the Skaven, they're still totally capable of winning, right? They're still Skaven. Um, but I think it's pretty nice. Um, he's given up Wrestle on the Gutter Runner, and he's taken Tackle on the Blitzer for his skills. And uh, Wentros got a similar team to me, right? He's got the double Wrestle Witch Elves and he's got an Apple. So it's a little bit different, but very similar. Um, similar idea, right? Just the six good positionals, all blodged or rodged. And he's also got the Chicken Halfling um, Cheerleaders, which is great. And he chose to, he won the ball, he won the toss and chose to kick, which I quite like, you know, I think. On defense, the Dark Elves are quite strong on defense versus the Skaven. And also it gives you like the whole game to protect against the one turn, right? To try and injure every single gutter runner. But particularly the sidestep gutter runner and the juggernaut roger. And you've got 11 men to defend, really try to pressure the rats on defense. So yeah, one of the few times when I don't mind kicking is versus rats. Mm, you're stun. So probably just gonna like screen here, right? And then he'll go in at a point. Screen, 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 and then smash. Might go for the smash straight away. A bit tricky with a guard, though. Oh. Tries the dodge, stuns himself. Yuck. I think I think I'll just try and two of dodges there is fine. A bit weird these two are coming down here because doesn't really I guess maybe it shepherds them towards the witch elves, I don't know. Covers the cage there with that guard placement. Tackle does nothing. And his uh, line room's already sandwiched. Instant blitz on the stripper. Oh yeah, also kicking gives you a chance to remove the stripper as well, right? So there's two gutters you really want removed. The stripper for your offense and the sidestep for the one turn. So there's... Oh, now these guys that are around the back come in and squeeze the back of the cage. Is he just... He's going to base everything then. Turn two to base everything. This is completely reasonable versus rats because they just don't have strength or, uh, you know, or tackle generally. They don't have both in the right places to deal with you. And they don't have the agility, like, aside from the gutters. So if he disconnects his gutters from the rest of the team, it's hard for him to stall. And it makes t instantly makes two critical 1 in 36 rolls. into a critical 1 in 36 again. So a few critical 1 in 36s here. Oh my god, and a 3-2. And then another 2. So you know, was, I mean, this was a lot of critical dice rolls already, right? Turn turn 3. A lot of critical dice rolls were forced by uh, Wenteros there. He could uphill the roger here, couldn't he? 
Oh, he, he was he was going to chain him into the cage. That was e that was even better, wasn't it? Oh my god, that was that was. Uh... That was brutal, wasn't it? If he powered this guy, it's just, it's game over almost. Literally, it's almost game over if he powers him. But um, he didn't. Wait, he, he re-rolled the push. Wait, what? Oh, because he wanted to power him? But who cares about the guy? Just put him in the assist. Oh, I didn't like that. Didn't like that, re-rolling the push. Oh, now he's down to one re-roll. Oh, did not like. And yes, he's got a guard, but you're hitting a str Oh, I guess because he closes the cage, does he? No, he doesn't close the cage, does he? If he's one there, it'd be still be three. You'd have to power the gutter. Hmm, maybe it was worth it. He's got three rerolls. I don't know. The wrestle punishing him there, not getting the knockdown. It's interesting shout between the two wrestle or, or a block and a wrestle. The block wrestle adds a bit more. It adds a bit more, right? But it like because you've got the block for attrition hits and wrestle for sacks, so it adds a bit. Like it's a bit more kind of. There's less redundancy, but there's like a bit more finesse, isn't there? You know, if you can if you can get the right players hitting all the time, it's a bit like. Spartacus's uh, Lizardman build, which I have historically not liked because it's hard to get everything right. And uh, but if you do, it's better, isn't it? So that's kind of like what the what the um, same thing with the witch elves, basically. And may maybe the block which doesn't give you that much more. You know, maybe it's worth having. It, maybe it's worth having the. Um, the redundancy of two wrestle witches. I mean, wrestle's really good for getting the serves. I mean, the ref the sacks. And plus, it's all you've got, right? You don't have any tackle, so. I'm still unsure which way is better. I feel like elves, you know, having edge two plus and movement seven, they they can get away with it a little bit more than like Saurus that have edge five plus. They're still getting in his face here, Wenteros. Constant one in thirty sixes that are critical. And you know, if you make an, if they make enough of them, there's a chance one of them fails. Needs the pow, we need to get the assist for the tackle then. Doesn't get the pow. Just as a 1D, oh my goodness. I mean, lots of critical dice, like so many critical dice rolls here. For Zahir. I mean, th this is what Dark Elves can do versus Skaven, right? Just constantly make them make critical dice rolls. And if they fail any of them, you win. Or at least have a good chance. But he passed all of the critical dice rolls again. Hasn't failed any yet. <laughs> he just keeps passing all of his dice rolls. And you know, if that happens, you're going to have a tough time versus rats. Ooh. The problem with this 1D is it doesn't unlock it, right? Because it. You, you've blocked with your own players anyway. Goes for the 5 plus in. Fails it. Maybe that wasn't necessary. Maybe you could have carried on being uh, conservative. Who knows? Now this is a bunch of twos to make a cage. Deep inside your half. And now you've got really no choice except to dive with the other witch now. So 
So yes, yeah, so that's the problem, right? By going for that five plus, you know, maybe you could have just constricted more. Maybe that's a mistake. And now he really just has no choice but to go for another five plus. Oh, he pops dodge. So now he's only got one reroll. He doesn't do the blitz. Because <laughs> it, so what would have happened in Blood Bowl Two is you'd have declared a blitz, and then uh, you could have hit this guy if you popped the dodge. But now you can only blitz the guy you targeted, so he just has to uh, not blitz at all. Which I think was probably, you know, the right play overall. Do I? No, I think you just use the reroll and the dodge in. Honestly, use your team reroll and dodge in. I think you should still hit him. Because this isn't getting it done, is it? Oh, just a KO. Yeah, I think that would have done. It sucks having to reroll the five plus in with a team reroll, but that's still it's still pretty good. You still got hit you're still hitting it with wrestle, so like I still think he, he should have gone for it, yes. But now he's got a five plus in again, but now he's hitting it with only two dice without without wrestle, right? So the 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 sack is a lot worse this turn and there's less recovery and everything. I didn't watch all of uh, unfortunately Steve I was I was uh, streaming a ridiculous amount of uh, <laughs> blood ball wasn't I um, people should handball yeah agree completely hard agree and now he's got guard right so it's even a 1d it's like last turn it was a 2d with wrestle and then this turn into a 1d and now he uses the reroll right so yeah he definitely definitely should use the reroll I understand the like chickening out kind of thing, but yeah, it, yeah, I'd say it was wrong. It's not going to it. He was kind of committed to it by the previous turn as well. Blitzes with block to score, and there we go. Gets the 1 0 stall out. And uh, you know, no one turn chance, right? Different if the different if he had a one turn, right? If he had a if he had like a movement nine sidestep player and a juggernaut frenzy strength five player, then keeping the reroll for the one turn would be fine, right? But the one turn here is so hard. I don't think it's worth saving anything for it. In fact, because it's so hard, I'd go for like the the double witch elf play, right? Like the uh, the the you know you do it with a block here, and you push him to there. And then you, uh, you know, into the, in, in fact, not even in the hole. You could put these two in, right? You could put these two in, and you could push him to there, and then, um, and then, well, could you? So you could have, you could maybe do it so that you could um, push him out here anyway, and then you could push your guy out to here, somewhere, and then you've got no dodges at all. So I'd probably do that because it's so low the chance of it working. You might as well go for like the absolute best payoff, or just surf a player. But that seems bad when he's got reserves. Scored instead of surfing, howling. Yeah, the, the surf would have been without block, right? So he'd, I think it's fair to prioritise just scoring. Yeah, not trying to one turn, just, just punching stuff. That's fair, it's probably better. Like, punching rats is pretty good, isn't it? And the chance of the one turn is so low. Oh my god, he gets to hit a gutter. That's why. He gets to surf a gutter! Oh my goodness. Yeah, three dice surfing a gutter. Bit un he could have saved his reroll for that instead of the one turn. <laughs> instead of, like, the one dice on the ball. Right. 
So 1-0 down. The problem is you can, you can just lose to the one turn now, can't you? You can play a perfect drive, score on turn 8 and lose to the one turn. And then what happened was it was a disconnection. And uh, that means it's a loss of Wenteros. So there you go. Bit sad, isn't it? I didn't realise, I didn't know when it happened, but I knew there was a disconnection here. So, uh, yeah, that was it. It was just a disconnect. So, I think a draw was likely, but also Zahu could have still won, right? He hadn't taken any damage at all. So, this could have been a perfect eight turn drive from Winteros into a one turn. So, um, yeah, there you go. It's, it is a bummer, but disconnects happen. And, you know, you could easily abuse it by saying, oh, yeah, I just my internet cut out, you know, as I was losing 1 0 or whatever. So, um, yeah, unfortunately for Wenteros, he disconnected, he gets the loss, but congratulations for Zahu, goes 1-0 up in the series. Thanks for watching everybody, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.